Hello, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. What are some of the key differences between chiropractors and osteopaths? It's not always easy to decide which healthcare professional to see when you're in pain. And although both chiropractors and osteopaths treat muscle and joint pain, treatment approaches do differ between the two. First of all, education-wise, osteopaths attend a four-year school of osteopathic medicine after receiving an undergraduate degree. Classes focus on the musculoskeletal system in addition to traditional medical school classes. And then upon graduation, students are awarded the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, or DO, degree. Their hands-on education continues during multi-year residencies and fellowships following graduation. And residencies allow the doctors to specialize in a particular area of medicine, like family practice, internal medicine, surgery, or obstetrics, gynecology. Chiropractors may attend chiropractic school after receiving an undergraduate degree or after completing 90 credit hours or three years of undergraduate studies. The Association of Chiropractic Colleges notes that uh, 24 of those hours must be earned in physical or life sciences. Completing chiropractic school takes three to four years depending on the school and students take classes in anatomy, physiology, and chemistry in addition to learning how to perform chiropractic treatments. During the final year of the program, students usually work exclusively with patients. New chiropractors receive a Doctor of Chiropractic or a DC degree when they graduate. In terms of treatment scope, osteopaths believe that all systems of the body are connected. The osteopathic manipulative treatments, um, or OMTs, uh, learn uh, during medical school, relieve muscle and joint pain and treat asthma, migraines, menstrual problems, fibromyalgia, digestive disorders, and other conditions. DOs also provide the same type of treatment options as medical doctors. Depending on their specialty, osteopaths can treat flu, determine the cause of your heartburn, deliver your baby, or remove your appendix. They usually use holistic diagnostic met methods that consider the whole person rather than just a specific system or body part. Chiropractors focus on issues that affect the bones, muscles, and joints, and frequently treat back and neck pain. Although chiropractors can't prescribe medications or perform surgery, they also focus on holistic medicine. In fact, some common symptoms, such as indigestion or frequent illnesses, could actually be related to subluxation or misalignments of the spine. Realigning the vertebrae with spinal manipulation or spinal adjustments, which is a common chiropractic treatment, not only eases pain, but can help improve health by reducing pressure on the nerves that control organs and systems. So chiropractors really also treat, mainly treat the nervous system as well, using the bones as levers to get pressure off the nerves so that the body can heal from within. Osteopaths, chiropractic treatments, both involve hands-on treatments, although the techniques used for these therapies differ among the treatments. An osteopath may use our muscle energy techniques. During this technique, the patient tenses a muscle while the osteopath provides resistance. Muscle energy technique increases joint mobility and eases pain and stiffness. You can also have strain, counter-strain techniques. These relieve soft muscle spasms. Involves, it involves placing the body part in a position that relaxes a muscle and then stops the spasm. Also in direct treatments, uh, relax tight tissue by moving them through three planes of movement. Both chiropractors and osteopaths use uh, soft tissue massage technique as well to relax tight muscles and high velocity low amplitude techniques to realign vertebrae with adjustments. These are called spinal adjustments by chiropractors. These treatments involve quick hands-on thrusts which move the vertebrae back into place. Chiropractors also offer several other treatments like flexion distraction. It's um, employed with a special moving table to stretch and decompress the spine. Ultrasound therapy as well as produces uh, sound waves that heat and relax deep tissues, relieving pain and inflammation and increased circulation. Traction too, this uses gentle pressure to stretch the spine. A transcutaneous nerve stimulation or TENS. This uh, gentle electrical current passes through electrodes attached to the skin and also prevents pain signals from reaching the brain during treatment. Although osteopaths can provide uh, osteopathic uh, spi um, spinal and muscle manipulation, many of them don't use the treatment on a regular basis. Uh, this is according to a 2018 survey of osteopathic physicians and 77% of the doctors who responded said they used the techniques in fewer than 5% of patients. Fortunately, hands-on treatments are readily available at chiropractic offices, and we specialize in specific chiropractic adjustments that move pressure off the, off the nerves. So chiropractors have remained true to this. We specialize in this. 
whereas the osteopathic profession has generally moved away from this and uh, is, it's really a very minor part of their treatments. So if you're bothered by joint pain, stiffness, muscle sprains and strains, or frequent headaches, chiropractic treatment relieves these, harm, these painful and harmful conditions naturally. So call us to schedule an appointment or uh, also just email us through our website at uh, newhopechiropractic.com. We look forward to helping you as soon as possible. Have a healthy day.